Hey guys, nice to see you again. I'm Oliver from Tuga Hobby. Today I will show you this real X sweater. This one is from Lesu 1 to 14 size, so it is 30 h This one, I already put battery and uh, connected to radio. We will start first running to see the functions, and later we will see the details of all the parts. Okay, so let's make a hole and start the engine. When engine starts, this sound system is connected together with uh, here, as you see, come here, is connected with the smoking system. So when start the sound system, the smoking system also starts. Okay, let's come to the front. We will see the light. We will switch on light. Okay, top light is on and down light is on. Roof this cabin light off. Okay, we will switch on off. Also from top have this turning light and the rear side have rear light and here also have light. Okay. So after this engine sound starts smoking time, also we got a sound effect for blue the engine. Coming. Let's start running. This is the steering for the front wheel. That's the angle. Let's move forward. Will be fast enough. So got two axles. Two axles also got the differential lock. Now it is not locked. Let's see. Should be turning. The wheels turning freely. So without lock. It's turning this side. So I will lock it. So differential lock. Lock it. You will, you will hear the servo. Yeah, servo turning. Now it's locked. Okay, now it's going forward, turning together, differential lock. Let's unlock it. Now it's unlocked. Okay. So, when I show you the function better, we switch off the sound and uh, no more smoke. So, uh, when I speak, you can hear me. So, I switch off smoking and sound. Yeah. You cannot switch off sound I speak, you cannot hear. So we will show you the hydraulic system. This is a big arm, up and down. And the small arm, go out, go back. This is the operation. And the bucket. Uh -huh. I well, this is interesting. I touch this quick release well for this one. I should put it back. <laughs> because this control switch is here. I press too much and uh, let this one go. <laughs> Lock it. You will see here, you will be locked. Locked. Okay. Well, interesting. <laughs> okay, let's reach out. Make a. Let's Oh, motion. Yeah. And there's a turn in. Let's turn it.
And as you see, the standing, we got four standing here, so when we working with the buckets to hook up some uh, mud or something, should put this down so to be more stable, I will put it down. It will lift up the whole excavator, you see, already in the air. It's very strong power. So now we can start working with your land. Yeah, I will show you again. This one I will lift up to show you again. Now I will lift up this this one. Okay, let's make the standing again. Okay, now we will operate this here. We will open the arm and bucket. Right, we're done. How smooth it is. If you want to operate very good, it is also very important with these radio settings because you got the curve for controlling the opening of the valve and how much oil can flow to the cylinder. So, to control the speed. If you open too much, you move a little, it's already quick moving, not very. Uh, interesting and uh, easy to control, yeah. So, how to learn how to control this radio? Now I change the settings. It should, at the beginning, moving slowly, more easy to control and more elegant. If you want more speed, so push the speed all the way down will be more fast. Okay, I will put it down and show you the parts of this actuator. Let's put, uh, put back the standing. As you see, we got the light here, here, and here. Also here, got light, top roof, turning lights, back lights. And uh, here we got the engine cover. This one, we will turn it around. The engine cover we put the battery here. It's a uh, chamber down here. So here we got the smoking system. This is a heating one. We got the motor under there, so blowing air inside. So here we got two receiver because many functions, and the light sound board here. So the hydraulic motor is here, the pump is under there. The cover is too much trouble to open, so we will keep it there, so only see from top. So the distribution valve, reverse valve is under there, so you see the copper pipe is under here, and uh, leading out the hose go to the arm and the bucket. Under there also got pipe to go down, because as you see, the standing also controlled by hydraulic. So the, the, it, it is going down on the, there, later we will see it. So you already see the smoking coming from here, and here got the air suction one, it is only a decoration. And uh, we will see more, so here we got the cabin, we will open it. On top we got the mirror. This cabin inside you got the real estate and you see the screen is showing the battery voltage, temperature. It is very interesting one, very beautiful art of work. And also all the material you see from the top, it is everywhere it is metal, only the windshield. It is plastic, only the hose is rubber, so every other part it is all metal and the stainless steel, even the standing this plate. So we will turn it around and we will see about the arm. So the hose goes to here on the big arm for safety and wear arrangement. This is also metal pipes. 
Only in the middle connection, we, we connect with the holes. So two cylinder for the big arm, one cylinder here on top, here for the uh, small arm. So one small arm, uh, this one small cylinder is here for the bucket. As you see, down there we got two more holes leading to here. So here is the quick release. Uh, when we press control there, it, this pin inside control bar hydraulic will go, go inside and uh, or reach out to lock the bucket. So we got two, these two holes here and two holes this side. It is a spare one for upgrades the functions as you see let's come here to see here we got this bucket and the grab and this plier it is all available to put there as you see this is two pair of holes that's enough we have two pair holes there so this is only one pair of holes so one channel it, it all available to change that we, we also I can show you this one we will change one to see so this bucket with tilt function, this one can turn in, tilting. So we will put this one to see it. First, we need to let go of this one. See the pin, we will, okay, unlock. Okay, every time you get the connection holes, we will come out some oil, you need to clean, lock it. Okay, locked. So this arrangement a little different. This two here is one pair. So we will connect to this side. We we'll get out this block. Okay, and put these holes connections. One. Connecting is not coming oil, but when after you're running, the holes got pressure inside, also oil inside. When you release it, for sure we are coming out some oil. <laughs> Need to put uh, these cleaning rags or tissue papers. Cleaning, so we are running this one. When you're working on the land, you want to make uh, some slot, you can turn the angle or you clean the ground, can operate by this one. Also, we got the other upgrades, how you want to make the work, you can upgrade as you like. Okay. For this one, I haven't made a mix control, so need to, if you want to operate separately, we'll have to start the pump separately. I make mix, mix control for the arm bucket, but not this tilt, this, this one, not yet. Also can make mix later. So, turn it to the... this one again. So happened twice. My mistake. So let I maybe should change this button here because uh, occasionally when I turn in this one I pressed these two buttons for the quick release by accident. Let I should change this one so it's a good example to change to other switch to check to control this quick release. Okay. So we will put this back, we put the original bucket. So now when I take out this one, you will see it will come a little oil. Mm -hmm. It's the oil in the hose.
Okay, we put this away. And put back the original bucket. This is the hook. Okay. Yeah, only to make it more perfect, only when you play it, you will see how to make it better. Now we will see the chassis. Yeah, because I was showing the bucket, I also forgot to show you the inside. We got this door to see the inside. So from this side of the door, we see we got the cooler here and we got the filter. The filter inside got magnetic to, to keep the metal parts inside to not damage the system. Here we got a pressure release valve and this one is a pressure gauge. Also from here you see the, the copper pipe, the pump there. So we close it. So here is the oil tank. We fill up oil from here. And now we will see the chassis. Because this one got axles and the differential lock, we only can see it when we turn it over. So these axles you see it's all CNC Mac metal. So the also the, the hub is also all metal. This is a very strong little all these chassis axles. CVD shaft is all very strong metal, making it very beautiful out of work. So, from here you will see it is driving motor on the there for the wheels. Got a transfer case, so to transfer the power to this CVD shaft, and here the transfer case separates the power to front and the rear side. Both axles, let's see here, we got the differential lock, this one. And uh, come to rear side, here is the differential lock. Yeah, uh, I will show you again. Let's run in the wheel. You see, that's how it's turning. So now I will lock it. You will see here, come see here. You will see this one moving, lock it. Locked. Let's run it again. Now it's locked, the gear is engaged, so it's turning all the wheels at the same time. Unlock it. It's unlocked, but not going to the position to disengage yet, because when you're moving the, the shaft, the XO one turning, it will be disengaged. You have to, because when you engage this, lock is got tension, it's engaged with power. So when you release, when you move in the wheel, it will disengage. So down there we also see the servos. This servo is for the differential lock. We got servos here for the standing, also here for the standing. Because the, it's the hydraulic oil Going from here, the distribution valve with servo, distribution valve with servo inside there. Okay, what's more, this one is the turning, the block, turning block, and they got this slipper ring, so the wires downside and the can turn it inside there, that it's turning all the way, not to tangle together. Mm -hmm. There, we got another servo is for the uh, it's for turning the steering. It's not clear to see from here, but as let's see a little from. So here the turning connecting road is here. You can see it. It's for steering. Uh, one more I have to mention is you see from here we got one cylinder come here. This cylinder and one more cylinder. So as you can imagine, it is filled up with hydraulic oil inside. It was said from factory, if you lock this one to keep, let's say, to close the valve, the oil inside cannot flow anywhere, yeah? So this one will be no more this function as suspension, but, but uh, when I'm operating, the, the valve is 
how to say I still have oil flowing so it's always keeping this function like this but it is good yeah we need this suspension to move in when we have rocks or some bump, bumping yeah you need the axles wheels to acting like this suspension function okay As we played so many and got so many options for the attract these actuators, when you play this weird one, you find it is also very interesting, even more funny, fun to play with this one. Very beautiful. That's all what I can say. Yeah. Somehow our customers say, um, lucky to play all the models here it's very they admire me yeah it is very interesting and uh, so if you got any suggestions for all these models which one you like what can be upgraded to make it more beautiful working more interesting you can talk to me anytime thank you very much i'm oliver from token hobby see you